Hey class, Tim Carey, uh, talking today about decision making. We're going to focus uh, on the rational comprehensive theory, uh, the incremental theory, as well as mixed scanning. Um, these are going to be very important for your exam. Uh, again, we've talked about you know, policy, uh, influencers on policy. Now we're getting to the point of, you know, what are the theories on how uh, politicians come up and make their decisions? So uh, the first theory that uh, I have in my notes uh, on a PowerPoint is the rational comprehensive theory. And this theory is uh, very big uh, in terms of, you know, changes, policies, are, are done on a major scale. So uh, it's based on economic theory, uh, the process of rational person's decision making. So a rational person will, you know, in making a decision, uh, will go through many alternatives, will will look at all of their goals and objectives, see if they accomplish it by making whatever decision it is that they're, they're coming to. Okay, so uh, we're looking at the, uh, a problem comes up. So there's a problem in society that we feel that the political system needs to address our, 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 our elected leaders, right? But the interesting thing about the uh, rational comprehensive theory is it should be removed kind of from, for it to be effective, it's gotta be removed from the political arena. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, so what are the, the values? What are the objectives that are hoped to be decided? they need to be ranked okay so this is the most important thing that we need to accomplish in creating this policy second most third most and it's you know they're gonna sit there and they're gonna rank them all out uh, there's going to be alternatives uh, many alternatives uh, for dealing with the problem that's being examined um, you know so you know we had this terrible situation recently in uh, Orlando and we've had many of them uh, so you know a lot of people are, are calling for uh, you know um, limiting gun laws and you know creating more gun laws so on a major scale you know we would list that they would with just our goal and objectives to have less of these um, you know mass shootings um, in, 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 in America so that would be the oath so say they came up with that as the goal it's all hypothetical okay I'm not trying to uh, persuade you in one way or the other just talking about the uh, rational comprehensive theory and then they would say okay what's our so we're going to prevent this from happening again now how do we do that and they're going to list out all we're going to you know stop all gun owners we're not going to allow anybody to own a gun and then uh, if you're caught with a gun you get so many years of you know jail time rank them down and then they look at the consequences for creating each. Well, you're, you're uh, eliminating somebody's Second Amendment rights. Okay, well, we're never going to get that passed, so let's go to the next one. Um, you know, if we prevent this from happening, what, what else is going to occur? So they look at the uh, alternatives. They have all their alternatives listed. What's the consequences? Uh, we're going to lose, you know, cost-benefit analysis. How much is it going to cost us? So, you know, we're going to have to do this buyback gun policy, okay? And, and that's going to cost the government you know, millions on top of billions of dollars. Um, is it worth it? What are the advantages of each? Uh, alternative uh, what are the disadvantages of each alternative each alternative uh, is compared to the other so you, you look at all alternatives compare them you have all these you know scales uh, charts this is what's good this is what's bad this is how much it's going to cost uh, so then the decision makers will make their decision after all this they're gonna come together and they're gonna say this is the best option for us now w w in hearing all that What's going through your mind? It's going to take a lot of time, right? This takes a long, long time. And in our political spectrum, how are we going to get people to come to this agreement? Okay, so uh, Lindblom came up with um, his uh, area of incrementalism, all right? So he didn't really think, you know, rational comprehensive theory, uh, way off base, not even thinking about, you know, policy making, um, you know, in our, in our uh, arena, uh, in our political arena. So he comes up with inc incrementalism, uh, also known as muddling through. Uh, so this involves a limited changes to already existing policies. Okay. So getting back to the situation we just talked about. So maybe politicians come together and uh, working with, maybe they're working in that, uh, uh, in that iron triangle with the NRA is the interest group. Maybe they're working with uh, law enforcement and the Department of Justice. 
Okay. So they come together and they say, okay, well, listen, we, you know, we'll never get this passed through. So a small change might be, uh, you know, it, we'll go back to banning um, semi-automatic assault weapons. Just, again, hypothetical. I'm not saying I'm for or against that. Just, and, and you know, very small change in our policy. Uh, or, a very small one, if the president has you, or if you're investigated by the FBI one time as having connections to terrorism, you're on a list uh, with the FBI that if you go to purchase a gun legally, you would be uh, rejected. So again, small change, not this, we're going to ban everything, we're going to, small change, okay? Uh, so they select their goals, um, they look at objectives, um, how they're intertwined with each other. So, you know, and, and the analysis of action. So if we did this, would we meet our goals and objectives? We only look at a few alternatives, okay? We don't list them all, all right, and rank them all. We just look at a few. Um, and we're only, again, only going to change a small little smidgen as a pair to a small bit to an already existing policy. Only looking at an, a small number of consequences for the uh, for each alternative. So if it's you know something very big, we you know um, some, I'm sorry incrementalism. If we're looking at it, we say okay, well here's by doing this, what could happen? Well, we could deny uh, someone who has the right and, and really is not affiliated with uh, a terrorist organization the right to, to, to buy a firearm. If we did this, well, is, is it the cost benefit analysis good enough? Yeah, let's just go ahead. The problem is continuously looked at, okay? So we're always looking at the problem, all right? You know, because the solution is small. We're, we're not. So we're going to constantly look at the problem. Uh, we want to make the problem more manageable, all right? How are we going to manage this problem? So again, incrementalism, small changes, everything's got about being manageable. There's no single right solution. So if we, you know, implement this, could this still occur? Oh, absolutely. The problem still may exist, but we've changed it a little bit. We, we think that uh, we came to an agreement. So uh, people can agree upon the, the idea or the decision that we're making. Okay. It's not so grand, so big and rational, comprehensive, and it's taken so long to, to produce uh, that it, it's, it's past its point, if we can even come to an agreement looking at rational uh, comprehensive so again in incrementalism you get the small decision small change uh, our goal is to solve the immediate problem all right again not a big change to the overall system so what are the differences when you think about uh, rational comprehensive as opposed to incrementalism again rational comprehensive we're looking at all the options all the alternatives we're only looking at a few in incrementalism, okay? We're only taking a, a select few. Uh, in rational comprehensive, it's a very structured evaluation. So we're, you know, meticulously evaluating what we're doing and why we're trying to do it. Uh, in um, incrementalism, it is more um, negotiated settlement, all right? So you're trying to negotiate and come to a settlement or an agreement. All right, negotiated agreement. Uh, so, incrementalism changes are gradually made over time. Major changes can be made on a regular basis in rational comprehensive. Okay, uh, rational comprehensive. I mean, yeah, rationalism, rational comprehensive. You know, decisions are made proactively. Problem. Let's get it done. Let's get it major done. Um, incrementalism, reactive, very reactive to situations. Uh, Incrementalism, very important. Political considerations, okay, so political uh, ideals are very important in determining the outcome. In rational comprehensive, that shouldn't be the case. There should be no political considerations taking place. It should be outside the realm of politics, right? The best decision needs to be made regardless of your political feelings for the society. Whereas in incrementalism, that's taken into consideration. I think that's very important in uh, looking at what takes place in our society. Then Etzioni comes up with mixed scanning, which is kind of a combination of both, okay? So uh, it's drawing on the positives of rational comprehensive. So yeah, you're, you're examining uh, the problem. You're examining a problem. You're just kind of, you know, piecemealing it, taping it back together. Uh, and it's taking the best from incrementalism. 
right, so what are some of the, let's talk about it from your standpoint. I want you to think about it. What do you think are some of the positives for both uh, rational, comprehensive, and incrementalism that you like? I mean, you know, I'm certain that you like to analyze it, but that takes time. I'm sure you like to um, look at where we're at uh, with theory. I'm sorry, phone's uh, disrupting me here. And um, what's positive about, you know, uh, incrementalism? You know, again, it's a small change, but it's a change that uh, can be accomplished. Uh, with mixed scanning, it's taking a uh, big view uh, of the problem. You're looking at the, the overall view uh, of what the, the problem is and the solution. And um, so when you're looking at this, keep in mind, all right, rational, comprehensive, Limburg's muddling through incrementalism down to mixed scanning with Etzioni and see, I want you to think about it. What do you think the best of both is? And uh, with mixed scanning, uh, do you think it's better that you kind of combine the two? Uh, or would you go with one of the, uh, the, the rational, comprehensive, or incrementalism? Again, uh, homework's not due until I think it's next Sunday. Uh, no rush. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more videos out for you. Uh, any questions or concerns, feel free to email me. All right. I'm sorry about the phone. And if that disrupted it, just let me know and I can go back and do that section over again. Hope all is well. Bye.